Well, most teams played last fall. A few played in the spring, but now the frenzy is back and full throttle as area high schools all compete under the Friday lights for the first time in two years. Let's start the highlights in Kenosha, Bradford at home with Regis High making the long trek down from Eau Claire, one of the best small school teams in the state. Xander Rockow, love the name, and he's rambling for the Ramblers right through, up the gut, racing through the Red Devils D. High snap for Nate Olson, who pulls it down, fires to Quinton Henry, but Regis rolls over Bradford 27 to 10. A monster matchup on my 24 and rival uh, Friday night rivals Brookfield Central and Cap Memorial. Crusaders have a dynamic runner in Corey Smith. Less than three minutes in, no drama for your mama. He's going 76 yards for six. Central trailed from there until the very end, making it very, very interesting. Drew Edmond finds the end zone with just 14 seconds left. So the Lancers trail 29-27 by two. They go for two. Keith Williams sacks Robert Bloom. Catholic Memorial hangs on for the 29-27 victory. Delaney Bry, she's always on top of her game. She has the other Brookfield team beast hosting Watertown. It's our big game. Take it away, D. What better way to kick off the 2021 season, a full slate of high school football, than with the reigning Division II state champions, Brookfield East. They host Watertown tonight. As always, let's get to the highlights. Spartans coming into 2021 like a wrecking ball. Matt Schminda fires it down the middle to Simon Lupton. 24 takes it to the house and gets Beast on the board first. Later in the second quarter, Matt decides he's got this one. QB keeper for six. Easy peasy. Lupton would carry in the rock again to make it 21 zip. Watertown trying to keep it together. Bad snap. Good recovery. Decent throw, but watch out. The wild boy is loose. Joe Wilde, pick six. Brookfield East puts up 28 in the first half, and I think you know where this one's going. Spartans with a big old W in week one. Delaney Bry, TMJ4 News. Brookfield East ended up winning 35-7. Lake Geneva Badger at Greendale kicking things off last night. Billy Zerzenowski of Badger burrows inside early on, so the, Bad the Panthers go up top. Zach Sheridan, 21-yard beauty to Colin Schuster in the back of the end zone. Greendale grabs a 17-14 win over LGB. In our next segment of the frenzy, Saints and Pius, who wins the battle of the heavenly teams. Stay with us. Welcome back. I always love the first games of the year. Non-conference contests, different opponents, surprise teams that show what they have. How about King and Waterford? Hawaii 5 0 night. Love the creativity, kids. King tight end and Penn State recruit Jerry Cross out with an ankle injury. He would watch his defense get after it for a while. Nice tackle there, but the Wolverines get it rolling and eventually wear down the mighty, mighty generals, winning tonight the final 42 to 12. What a great night for football. I was at Hart Park as the Hilltoppers Marquette hosted Arrowhead. Joe Cafaro shot out of a cannon, gets the sack, leads to a Marquette field goal. But the Warhawks would soar from there, winning tonight the final 38 to 22. Whitefish Bay Dominican at South Milwaukee, another Hawaiian theme night. I sense a theme. All right, Cooper Vale to Blake Maldonado. This is a very pretty play, and the Rockets soar from there to a 49 sip victory over Dominican. Sheboygan Falls at Brown Deer. Falcons versus Falcons. Love the moon and the look of the night. The Falls applying the heat. Tipping the pass right here and a little pinball action and the falls comes down with it. But Brown Deer bringing the D. They trailed 21 to 6 at the half. Just couldn't recover though in the second half though, losing the final 33 to 12. Meeting of the minds as St. Francis visits Milwaukee Pius. The Pope's getting a first quarter turnover when Joseph Hill comes up with the interception, but the Mariners get 157 tough yards from Garrett Ragoon and snatch a comeback victory 27 to 20. 